Hey, sorry about that, everybody. They got uh, started a bit quicker than I thought they were going to. So obviously we have uh, Matt Craw and BJ Ussery. This is a fifth, sixth place match. BJ leaves himself a nice shot on the six. Play, probably play the six down to the corner. Hold the cue ball there for the seven. shot there. So bump into the nine to hold the cue ball for the eight. Comes out nicely. And Matt plays the nine in. Take the one nothing lead. BJ to break. All right, so BJ to break. Up, or excuse me, down one to nothing. Makes a ball on the break, has a good shot on the one. Sorry, I got uh, a little distracted there. Uh, BJ looks like he's making uh, quick work of this rack. He's gonna try and tie this match up at one. 
Okay, so that's one to one. Now be a uh, mat to break. So, uh, looks like this is going to be a short rack with the three sitting right in front of the nine. Matt made the four ball, has an open shot at the one. Just uh, trying to figure out how he wants to get on the one. Hey, Matt's got a... Oh, so Matt makes the two ball. He's left himself behind the five. This should be a straightforward jump, though, here to make the uh, three nine combo and take the two nothing, or excuse me, two one lead. He doesn't look comfortable. No, he doesn't. Which, this is a simple jump. Yeah, I know. I'm you very wanna... surprised that he wouldn't look comfortable. Yeah. Well, look comfortable or not, he makes the shot and takes the two-to-one lead. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, apologies. Josh and I are late to work, uh, something we are very used to. Uh, that's all right. The match had actually started before I got back in here. Oh, wow. So, yeah. We were all late to work today. Yes. All right, let's take another look at that nice uh, jump combo on the nine. I had to uh, clean up Mr. McCauley's rags per uh, Tony Manning's request. Oh, my bad. I apologize to Tony, not me. I already did. Oh, okay. Yeah. It didn't look good on the stream. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I did not realize it until he said something. That was only three matches ago. I'm surprised it took him that long to Hey, say I was something. just trying to soak up the one and one eighth ounce that spilled. <laughs> Those rags seemed a little more, uh, a little wet for one eighth of an ounce. Are we, are we tangled up here again? Oh no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Keep your cord on your side of the table, Damn, Dave. Those are your cords. My cord is on my side of the table. All right, BJ up to break. Apparently, he's been doing this well since he lost on this table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't. And hear. the commentator's yeah. jinx strikes. Uh, no, uh, he, he he has a he can he see can the see entire it. ball. He can see. It, it was yeah. looking like it was coming. Yeah, yeah. But even if it has, I don't know. It may just be that he doesn't have the break dialed in on this table. Yeah, yeah that's true. And, and I even told him that. I was like, look, if me and you would have played on table six, it would have been a different story because that 
that table breaks different, and I play on it every day. Yep. Did he buy that? He actually did. All right. Yeah. I mean, from the sounds of the match that you guys had, uh, yeah, I don't think he had a choice but to believe that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, 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 that was such a great shot he was looking at. I mean, still got, still got a good shot. Thank you. Gigi's trying to get me drunk. Yeah, um, I mean, that was definitely a good attempt. You wanted to be behind the six ball, but Mac can see the one, but I'm not certain that he can make that. Uh, let me take a peek here. Ooh, I don't know. What do you think, Dave? I think he might be able to make that. That's tight. Definitely not an easy shot. Oh, the seven Ooh. got him. Yeah, almost played a very nice safe there. Yeah. Fortunate kiss on the seven there. Uh, he's giving BJ a clear shot at this one ball to put it wherever he'd like. He's going to bank it behind the two. If he can, he's going to bank it and get it behind the eight and put the cue ball behind the seven, but he's going to bank it wide to be behind the two. Oh, yes, for sure. Yeah. Was it me or did that camera just shake? It looked like on the monitor the camera shook. Which I think it's more likely that the TV, the whole TV shook. Oh, all right, I'm already huh? going the easy route. Yeah, and he got he got it. Hundred percent got it. Nice long, uh, long shot. Matt's gonna have to kick at this. BJ has sat in his seat more this set than he did our entire set. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's going to go for the one rail kick here. I'm um, assuming he's going to try to get the one on the bottom rail. Howdy doody. Oh, stand by. So nice. DJ makes the one, gets good shape on the two. Making quick work of this rack. As long yeah. as he um, he's still fine. He's just going to come three rows around underneath the seven. Um, come. Oh, he was coming right above the nine. I figured he'd come higher. Yeah. So good chop. Yeah. I mean, he. He's just going to stun this ball, hit about first time and pass the side pocket, or he can just hit it straight back. Uh, I stun this ball more than just draw it. Yep. Right there. Ooh. Hit it good. Very yeah. good. Hit it very good. He doesn't seem too happy with it, but. Oh, well, and if the ball scrapes at all, he's like, I hit that ball perfect. You should not have done that. <laughs> I mean, I know just looking at him, he's a very intimidating looking man. So these balls very, very well just be falling just because he's just staring a hole through them. Well, he hit that ball. Not sure what he did there. Yeah. But. Oh, he's just testing out his uh, left spin. Yeah. It oh, works. Left spin works very yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, he, he's such a big guy and yes, does look intimidating. But then when he talks to you, you got that southern accent going and. <laughs> so Dave and I was talking about this earlier. Like he's 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 a nice guy. Yeah. But looking at him, he's very terrifying. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So two to two, Matt to break. And if he had his old hairstyle of the long beard, right? he used yeah. to have like hair with a beard. Yeah. Really. 
I mean, he was bald, but he had a beard. When he won the, um, the expo, he had a beard. And then the next year where he just came in, robbed all the challenge tables, uh, it looks his, like his cue would go through his beard, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Looks like he was talking to Matt about the break and some of the issues he was uh, having. Or with the rack, I apologize. And Bobby Ambrose chimed in. <laughs> if there's somebody who knows how to rack on this table, it's Bobby. <laughs> he spends a lot of time on this table. Especially racking. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. Oh, nice break. This could uh, this could be dangerous. Five ball and the two ball are definitely not easy. Um, no, especially the five. Yeah. Yeah, I think he can just roll up to get to the two ball, but he's got to shoot the five directly after. Yeah. Yeah, not too sure. Uh, I mean, the aggressive route, roll the one up, get shape on the two, uh, pull the cue ball out just enough so you can cut the five in, and bring it back up, down table for the six. I mean, that's, that's the aggressive route, but that's very aggressive. Uh, I don't know if he can get good enough on the five. Yeah, I mean, he's going to have to get pretty much uh, in this, just about even with the nine on this. Yeah, he's going to have to play in safe here. Leave the cue ball in the nine. Probably I don't send know. I think, I think I, he, I think he might be. He, I think he, think he might. Oh, yeah. Looking at it like this. Yeah, yep. you got good it. Good shot. Yeah, very nice. See, turning your head sideways on the monitor does help. From looking at it like this, it looks not not too good. Looked at it like this. I good. never had to turn my head, and I thought it went. Yeah, same. Yeah. Okay, well, I think... Um, I think your shirt's so bright it blinded you. <laughs> <laughs> the way I played today, it sure did. Yeah. Hey, hey, Jeremy's back. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to our boy Josh McCauley. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yes, it was... Uh, it felt good to finally get back in the 9th through 12th. Yes, but uh, Josh did not, however, get the word that it is Under Armour Polo Day in the booth. I know I did. I'm not... Uh, I don't represent the big corporations. Roger that. I'm very happily so, wearing, I don't know, nice like 13 different nice. Alley Cat shirts. <laughs> so I got my very comfortable nice run by Matt. thin Alley Cat jacket with the Alley Cat polo and my Alley Cat hat. Jeremy, I think we're going to have to put you on a payroll just to um, stay in the comments sections with us. Every time you're in the comments, we seem to have a great time. <laughs> by the way, we don't have payroll. We pay in... Um, beer so if uh if you're okay with that or any of your drink of choice uh, i think we can make uh, make this happen bj inspecting the rack this table when i did play on it earlier i did notice that um i was having a hard time to get the seven and the three to touch that was uh one of the issues i was having um could very well be the same issue they're having I did see someone say in the comments earlier that uh, I believe they said the five ball could be a hair undersized, and that's why the nine ball keeps shooting out. I thought the they left. said the five ball looked a hair oversized. A hair oversized. oversized. Is that what it was? Okay. Yeah. I personally I just have saw trouble. Size. I just personally have trouble believing you can see that on the stream, but it, I think it's just the way the light hits it. Yeah. Um, I mean, as we know, uh, bright colors reflect very, very yeah. loudly on yeah. the stream. So uh, Jeremy, really sure. Jeremy's good with being paid in beer. Perfect. <laughs> All right, you can buy it too. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. I will. I will uh, make sure you're good. The commentary just uh, the mood lightens. I feel like yeah. we have a fourth person in the booth, but we don't. DJ hit the one ball good, but the seven ball was definitely the concern there. Is that how colors work? Josh wouldn't know. He's <laughs> colorblind, but. Yeah, you have no idea how many times I put the two ball where the four ball is supposed yeah. to be and the four where the two is. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree, Jeremy. I think it was an illusion because of the colors. Um, 
because even even if one ball is slightly bigger than another, the difference is so small that you're just not going to see it on television. You'd have to get a dial caliper out for that. Yeah. We have one in the office. If we really want to go out and measure it. Yes, we do. We uh, can uh, we can take bets on this over unders on uh, how big the five ball is compared to everything else. I think it's going to be the exact same size. <laughs> well, we can we can set a bar up really quick. We have a uh, like I said, we have a dial caliper in the office. Okay. Um, we even have a scale too. We can weigh it. Just saying. I expect BJ to play uh, safe here, which he does swing at. Gets the cue ball behind the three. This can be dangerous. I think Matt might be able to see that. See, you did it too. I'm over here turning my head sideways, and I look over, and Dave is doing the same thing with me. Um, yeah, yeah I think not. he might be able to carry him off that too. Uh, with how thin I think he can see the two, I think he yeah, comes I underneath the nine. Yeah, I don't think he can get enough of it to play the carom. Oh. What do uh, we know? What do I know? You know? Yeah. That's why we're in the booth and not playing. Great shot. I called it. <laughs> <laughs> but you also had to turn your head sideways at a stationary object. Yeah, but it still looked great. Yeah. Right, I have a stigmatism, man, okay? I see everything in an oval. Let's take another look at that shot. I don't know. <laughs> it means nothing. <laughs> Matt hit that ball very good regardless. Uh, to jump out to a 4-2 lead. Yeah, he hit that really good. Very nice shot by Matt. Good luck. <laughs> For a camera sponsor? Yeah, if the cameras were good enough that you could see the difference. Oh, oh I get it. But it's... Hi. Okay, bye. She's like, huh, you're not Josh. Oh. No, they're, oh, they're, they were, they're yeah. keeping the score on the scoreboard with the remote, and they were making sure they knew what it was. Oh, and again, they are filling my uh, OCD satisfaction. They're keeping up with the sides. <laughs> the question is, oh, well, you weren't here when they started, so we don't know what side they lagged on. No. Yeah. Damn it. BJ oh, nice. always lags on the right. Perfect. My OCD needs are fulfilled. So, good break by Matt. Um, cue ball's on the rail, off angle from the one to get to the two ball. Or to the, the way, one into I, the two. I completely made that up. Uh, that's not a thing. <laughs> you know. Is that one? I think that one goes in size. It, it can go. I just don't know if that's the ideal uh, shot here. Jeremy, if I'm not mistaken, you do Friday tournaments over in Delaware? Yep. Is that it? Nice, oh, nice shot. One, two combo. Nice shot. Yeah, he can still get to the... Yeah. Played that very well. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, my only thing with Matt is it seems like these tournaments, you know, he's he seemed to struggle a little bit. Um, I think he's gotten what fifth, sixth highest. Yeah, I'll have to slide out there one one time. But I have yeah. um, I have friends that live over, not in Delaware, but like right over the line. So I could definitely find somewhere to crash. It'd be cool to get out there one time, travel a little bit. Oh, you want to go on Friday? I can't go this Friday. I will have the deal, man. He looks What's like he can play pool. <laughs> I think he's about as tall as the pool table. Well, his head peeks over the table for sure. But, um, now, just I think the only reason um, the name wasn't mentioned is because he, I feel like he struggled a little bit in these events. Uh, you know, final four, I mean, I think he's made the final four once. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know, but... But also during the uh, Maryland State Ten Ball, we were uh, somebody made a comment that we were. Uh... <laughs> Josh, so, do you want to be on the list? Yeah. Put him on. 
I think uh, Josh got a second win for Pool this weekend. No, it's a ladies' league here this Friday. I won't be here. Uh, During the uh, Maryland State 10 ball, somebody made a uh, comment that it would be nice to see one of the local players uh, win the tournament. And while we were listing all the local tur players that we thought had a chance to win the tournament, we somehow never mentioned Rick Molinaro. So apparently we're just not good at thinking of all the people that might be contenders. You know, well. I can't even blame us, though, because uh, this field is extremely deep. It's, uh... yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm uh, definitely uh, impressed. He's, he's been playing very well. Uh, again, you know, so like if you go back to the match that he played against Rick, he was stuck 5-1 and still found a way to match it up 5-5. Yep. Um, you know, so, I mean, we can't sleep on him. By no means can you sleep on him. Uh, but right now, you know, I said it when we were down to 12, uh, there's nobody in this tournament right now that can't win it. You know, everyone here can win this tournament right now. I so think I need to go outside and check the weather. <laughs> Uh, I might have connections that say uh, the weather's not too great. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Does, um, it, look, does it look like it's going to rain or burn? Yeah, I think it's going to burn a little bit. Oh. Not in a good way. Rob's up. Rob's up 5-1 on person. Uh, Frank? Something Frank? Yeah, uh, Ron, Ron Frank, Frank Jr. Oh, nice shot by Matt. And Matt's up 5-2 to two on BJ. Very nice shot. He hit that ball good. Yeah. Yep, so uh, Rob Cord 5-1 to one on 5-1. One. Yep. Uh, peg leg Johnny Bloom, the, the one, the only Johnny Bloom. I wouldn't mind seeing a Rob Cord Rick Molinaro final. You know, that would be, I'd, I'd be 100% okay with yeah. that. I mean, I've already lost my last longer with Rob. Now I owe him <laughs> five bucks. Now, I, Rob, Rob's been working extremely hard on his game the past year, year and a half. Like, extremely hard. And uh, to see it start to pay off for him, is it's pretty cool. BJ to break. Sorry, I was a little late to the unmute switch there. All oh, they heard was BJ to break. But he said so before that, so it didn't yeah. miss a whole lot. BJ to break. Makes two balls in the break. Yeah, that was a strong uh, break. Got a bad oh, no. kick, and oh, no. you won't be able to see the two. Oh, BJ and this table are just not getting along today. I, he's been breaking well with the rolls. Oh, goodness, the leaves are just been awful. Yeah, he's. I feel like he's had enough of table six. Oh, yeah, he's done with it. <laughs> the table that he, me and him played on eight, every single time he had two balls in and a shot on the one. It, yeah, was, it, it was beautiful to watch. It's a shame, too. Yeah, just that the, the, what's going to not ultimately decide this match because I mean, they're breaking on the same table. But, I mean, we, we know that BJ can definitely pack racks together. He's just stuff is just getting kicked in directions. He's not even getting a chance to get going. It is unfortunate to see, but it's uh, it's the game that we all play, and it's why we keep chasing it, right? Yeah. Changes every day. All right, sorry about that. We had to have a. I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna start calling those underground conversations. <laughs> have a, Stuff we, we can't have, say. We on had to there. have a sidebar. <laughs> <laughs> on the hill after dark, we should just start a. Uh, <laughs> we should start a podcast, the three of us, where we just sit around and do dumb shit and talk about the stuff that we can't talk about right now. 
Well, they can't be on the hill after dark. After dark, we'd have to change the name completely. Hill, the on. I don't know. Bru- How about uh, uh, Bruising cues after dark? No, yeah, probably uh, work. no, we can't. No, 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 because then we'll have the liquor board all up in here. <laughs> <laughs> What How to get the liquor board in the bar when you're not even at the bar? <laughs> <laughs> Bruising cues limited. After, after, after dark, dark, we're allowed to be oh, a nice shot shot by BJ. hell of a shot by BJ. I mean, we're all we're all employed here technically, but oh, now Jay, you're not now. <laughs> yes, I am. No, you're not. Have you ever received a paycheck from this place? So he's going to do the three seven combo. <laughs> uh, he got a good angle on it. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> Dad, whatever. <laughs> yes, Jeremy, you are definitely invited to our podcast. It's yeah, gonna be, absolutely. It's, it's going to be at your house, so uh, I hope you're invited. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who was the guy with the uh, the Eiffel Tower toilet? Oh, oh uh, Kyle Dilly. Kyle yeah, Dilly. Kyle Dilly. We need Kyle Dilly <laughs> to stay on his toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Pookie. How you doing, buddy? Shane got a roll on me, didn't he? A roll? Yeah. Dude, I don't even remember that match. I, I've, I've, watched, yeah, I I've watched. I've watched. I've watched so much pool today, my head hurts. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that That's rough. Yeah. That's rough. BJ All right, so it's going to be six to two. Yeah, six, six to two. I was going to say Matt's going to have a hard time running out with the nine ball no longer on the table. <laughs> yeah, have and Kyle apparently we're from his toilet, of course. Apparently, we're listening to Christmas music now. This is this is an upgrade. The year, it's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> hmm. Oh my goodness! I heard Baby Shark earlier. Um, what was the other song? Uh, it was something by Justin Bieber. Well, yeah, it was just Justin Bieber in general. <laughs> Reminds hey, me. Of... What's wrong, with Peeps? <laughs> I mean, typically his following is like ten, eleven year old middle school girls. That was ten years ago. They've all grown up. Oh, so there's just no such thing as middle school girls anymore that follow Justin Bieber? Correct. They're all <laughs> out of college. <laughs> Everybody now follows what Lil Nas X and. Um, okay, you know what? You got a point there. Yeah. You got a point there. Times have changed. I'm just. I'm, I'm like a modern day boomer now. If you're calling yourself that old, take a look to your left, and then to your right, and then behind you. Oh my! You're a baby. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot by Matt there. Ooh. I almost have a child your age. <laughs> Back to pool. Okay, I did just get a, a text message saying that the Bieber fans have grown up and they're all in their 20s now. Who said that? <laughs> a friend of mine is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Bieber told him. Yeah, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber has messaged me and said that they're offended. See, He's I offended. Not, I, said, I know it's not true because us close to Biebs just call him Biebs. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> is that your boy? Bieber fever. Oh my god. Especially if he wants to do a duet with uh, Timberlake. Oh my. BJ's just going to take the intentional foul here. Interesting decision with the placement of where the one is because it's going to make an easy safe. Yeah, yeah, Matt can just send the one ball one rail and bury the cue ball. If he has just enough room by the three, he can actually play the one off the rail and try and play the nine it, and play the safe at the same exactly time. exactly what I think he's doing right now, actually. very. No, oh, no. no. Okay. No, he's just burying it and playing the yeah, combo. He's, set, he's just trying to combo. set up the one-nine combo. Yeah. yeah, that was a good shot by Matt. BJ can not. Hideki Matsuyama won the Masters. <laughs> yeah, he was up by six strokes the last time I yeah. won. So I kind of figured he was going to win. He it. won by one. He won by one? Yep. Oh, oh wow. My I saw the one was a hell of an attempt at hitting. The yeah, ball, I, he got the one nine out of the way, so I props yeah, he, to him. Yeah, he did what he needed to do, at least clearing the nine ball. But but that was an amazing attempt. Of course he is on two now. Oh, 
Uh, Jeremy, stand by. I'm in the middle of texting a message, but I got some uh, beef to dig out with you really quick. Okay. Um, I'm really upset that uh, you would not want to hear me on a Christmas album. Auto-tune's a fantastic thing. I was say... Jerry, I don't know. I did not pay attention to the last uh, rack if uh, the, where BJ put the balls. He should be yeah, putting I, the two in the back, but uh, it, honestly, he's been, I've stopped noticing. Yeah, he's been putting the two in the back the entire I, time. So, I mean, if it was one or two racks, it might have been frustration. And yeah, I mean, he just I didn't have... even think about it. Like, BJ's not the type of person who's no. just, who's going to not follow a rule. Um, he, he'll win despite a rule he doesn't like, but he's not just going to blatantly not follow a rule. No, yeah, not, not yeah. by any means. Um, I'll, I'll pull the stream up and go back a little bit. All right, so BJ is on two. Yep, there's Matt reminding him. And um, BJ it's, says, BJ's like, get, get out, out of here, here with that. <laughs> <laughs> It was funny, last night in Matt and I's match, uh, I made a very, very clear bad hit. Like, it was the 7 and the 1 side by side. The 7 was in front of the 1, and I hit the 7 dead in the face. And he looks at me, he's like, is that ball in hand? I'm like, <laughs> did we watch the same shot? Yes, it's ball in hand. I felt bad because it was kind of snappy, but it's like, yes, Matt, I understand. But yes, man, come on. <laughs> well, it's like watching someone's match, and you see them just get destroyed, like 7 nothing, and then ask him how they did <laughs> 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 this is very true. Oh, with the set on the line here, BJ, why is my phone not letting me go back? I had a teammate years ago lose a match uh, because he picked the cue ball up when it wasn't ball in hand. And so we told him he wasn't allowed to pick the cue ball up. When oh, it what a hit. Nice hit. hit. Oh, look at that. Oh, no. Look at that. Oh, what a leave. Rob Cord wins his match. Update. So he's in the top eight. What's that? Top, top six now. Top six now. Yeah, that was top eight. Oh, wow. Good for Rob. It's one yes. of all. Very... As much as we uh, are not supposed to play favoritisms, he is one of our local favorites. Like, our heart just tells us we have to be okay with him doing well. <laughs> hey, let's be fair. He's one of our locals. That makes him a local favorite. We root for all the locals. All right. More of our uh, commentary after dark there. All right. Uh, it wasn't that much. Travis dropped his Gatorade bottle and couldn't find it. And no, I unplugged it. my headset. And I've already unplugged my monitor. Might as well unplug my headset now, right? All right. Yeah. So yeah but Rob no one's going to pick up that Gatorade bottle now? I, I mean, I'm not drinking Gatorade anymore. I switched. I threw away the... Oh, see, I almost did it again. <laughs> I've already dropped two Fs on the, on the stream today. I do not need to drop a third one. Okay, I've so dropped yes. two Fitzgerald Farfig Nugans on the stream. <laughs> BJ is uh, getting out here. going to make it six to three. Yeah, and he was on two. Matt played a good save, and BJ got out of it. Uh, after a couple back and forth shots, uh, BJ is... Rick, my goodness, somebody has his big boy voice on today. Wow. I don't think Rick understands that the purpose of the microphone is that you don't have to yell when you're using it. <laughs> I feel like Rick used all of his voice when he said yeah. that. My ears actually hurt, and I have a headset on. So, yeah, so Rob Cord defeated Ron Frank Jr. 7-1, to putting Rob Frank into 7th, 8th. As you probably just heard, uh, the... Announcement, uh, Rob Cord will be playing Pookie now in the other 5th, 6th place match. If y'all didn't hear that announcement, you need to either replace whatever device you're watching this on, turn your volume up, or get your ears checked out. <laughs> if, PJ, if BJ can get a good break here, he can put the pressure <laughs> back on Matt. Yes, Greg, I, I fully understand that reference. We... One of the very first uh, streams we did here, we commentated with a very small microphone and a styrofoam cup to funnel the voice to the <laughs> microphone because there was so much ambient noise around us. Yeah. So we took a styrofoam cup and 
put the microphone in. <laughs> That's how we did it. We, we were passing the, we were passing it around back and forth. <laughs> that was funny. Oh goodness. Yeah, Rob must be uh <laughs> definitely feeling good after his dinner break. Matt Matt has a care to get kill on the four here. I don't like it because it feels like it look feels like looks like the four is out of the pocket a little more yeah, for four the is. shot. Yeah, it's playing safe here. Oh, he wanted that on the nine ball. Yeah. Well, this is not a time for Matt to be letting off the pedal here because BJ can, uh, yeah, we've definitely moved up a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, this is not a time for Matt to be letting off the gas pedal. BJ is not somebody you want to give chances to. No. Josh learned that the hard way. Yep. He won the flip. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say, he, only, he pretty much just got the chances that the rules allowed him to have. Yep. He, he won the flip and then uh, Broken ran four. He should have lagged. Yes, because that's worked out so well for me. <laughs> I think I did beat Chip in the leg. Because Josh has speed control. Yes, you did beat Chip in the leg. Yeah. Yes, I have pristine speed control. Everybody <laughs> always knows me for my just stand in line all the time. Yeah. Yeah. We'll say that. All right, so I'm going to get a quick look at the 6, 7, 8 mess down here. The six does play into the seven, yep. so he can play the five and get back. Yeah, he, he's got a chance to get out here. Think he wanted to make contact, but it paid off. And uh, from the amount that he is shaking that head with those bright headphones, uh, I think we can all agree that he did not want to do that. That's but fine. he sees, huh? It's going to be fine. Yeah, I was just going to say he sees the six seven. All he has to do is just play the five, and if anything, the cue ball is going to be within a few inches of the six seven. BJ's completely fine here on this shot. He's just trying to figure out how he wants to hit it. Somebody left a dragon in here. <laughs> All right. So he's just going to hit this with a little bit of right and try and spin himself up. Uh, almost hangs to five. He, these are some deep shelf pockets. He's got to be really careful about that. Well, then again, he found that out last time he was here. Uh, that is a good point. Hits that good. Yeah. And gotta it looks like he's going to get out and make it 6 4, and that'll be Matt to break, correct? Yep. I thought it was BJ's break. I thought BJ just broke. I don't think so. I thought BJ broke first. I don't know. I guess we're getting ready to find out, right? Yeah, this is, um, this could be a turning point. I mean, Matt, Matt oh, okay, Matt is to break. Okay. Yep. Uh, I guess Do you think uh, BJ has white, nor white noise playing in his headphones? <laughs> If it's anything like his shoes and his headphones, that's got to be some loud-ass white noise. <laughs> Looking for next match. I see how it is. You want one? Yeah. All right, boy. <laughs> we uh we are being fed uh, Jello shots at the moment. Yeah, they uh. They have jello, so very high nutritional value. Yeah, yeah, we're doing good stuff for ourselves. Yeah. Eating well over here today. I had a burger. I had a dude, I had a burger too. That thing, was, thing was on point. Yes. Yeah. That thing was crazy. 
the bacon. They put like a foot long piece of bacon on that thing, and I had to like I had to like peel the bacon off around it and then eat. Oh, it was so good. Then I asked for crispy fries, and they hit it perfect. Oh, it was when, so good. When I saw Dave's come out, I was like, all right, after I'm done playing. <laughs> Dave got his after I got mine. Yeah. <laughs> and when I saw it, Look I was at like, that right. break from Matt. Wow. After, after I get knocked out, first thing I'm doing, before I even go collect my money from the tournament. <laughs> yes. Oh, they, oh, green. Awesome. It's going to get better because, like, I mean, we're, we get nothing but good pool for the rest of the evening. This makes us extremely happy. It makes you all extremely happy, and... uh I hope you guys enjoy our commentating. Our yeah. co accommodating. Accommodating. So we're, 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 yeah, we're here to have a great we're time. We're unaccommodating. All right, here we go. Happy birthday to Josh. What do you do with the cupcakes? Done the office. Uh, we, we need to do a cupcake shot later. We haven't done one of those in a couple of years. I have some more cupcakes coming. Thank you. All right, so. <laughs> now, you, you, they're not injecting jello, Tim. I don't know what's with the <laughs> syringes there. I mean, I inhaled that. That counts. <laughs> I want to drink what he's trying to make. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to drink that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dave. Dave. Coming in, uh, he was here yesterday playing in the tournament. And, uh, he can definitely plus one the burgers because those things were fantastic. Yes. I mean, I'm usually very happy with the food here, but that burger. Yeah, that burger hit well, it. I think I think the patties changed or something. Yeah, they that. went to. Uh, I think they went to handmade, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so good. Uh, fantastic. I'm fat enough. I'm about to get another one. <laughs> It's a day when I said earlier, I think the only thing we could say about it, slightly overcooked, but we also like our food uh, still breathing. Um, yeah, I like mine medium rare. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh, he hit wow. that so good, too. He did. Oh, and the, oh, look at the 5-9. Oh, no. This could be disastrous. Eh, 5-9 or not, you leave an open shot with four yeah, or five was, balls on the yeah. table this late in a tournament, that you're going to lose. I feel like it's almost better at the 5 nines there, because it could just take the... Take yeah, the pain away pretty quick. Well, take the pain away, but also, honestly, I I think I give Matt a... I think there's a better chance that he would mess up on a 5-9 combo than yeah. he would on an open 5-ball run out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very, very, very true. I 100% agree. So... And not just Matt. Like, I don't want to yeah, no, think no, that no, Matt... No, just no, absolutely. Anybody. anybody yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Any of these players. Uh, yeah. Anytime you have a chance, you don't want to shoot a combo. And even correct, this yeah. way, it's he's going to make this 98% of the time. Yeah, cool. but that two percent ball could yeah. skid. Something that could happen. We've seen some crazy yeah. stuff on this table yeah. this weekend. He could just see it wrong and overcut it. No, nah, Matt drilled that. that. Very he nice. Congratulations to Matt. Matt uh, takes down the match. Uh, I believe that puts uh, BJ into fifth, sixth. So, yes, do we get does. the hot seat match next?